one and all, and welcome to Project Wingman. This is a game that just... Mm. Okay, a little story time before we get into the game. The first game I ever played on a PlayStation 2, the, like, the first game I have memory of actually my, me, myself, playing and not watching someone else play was a game called... was the Ace of Combat 4? Ace Combat, not Ace of Combat, Ace Combat 4. I think it is the Ace of Ace Combat on the PlayStation 2 where you fly into a railgun. It's one of the earlier ones. It's it's like one of the PS. It's a PS. I know specifically it's a PS2 one. And I normally don't play games like this. Most flight games are very heavy-handed in their controls. I prefer the more arcadey controls, where you can aim with your mouse. Because I don't have a joystick. A joy uh, joystick. If I had a joystick, like a flight joystick, oh, I'd be having a, mm, I'd be having some fun. But I don't. I'm a poor bitch. What can I say? Anyways, this game, and you know, there hasn't been a new Ace Ace Combat game in a little while. I think the last one was Seven. Or maybe there's been a newer one. I don't know. My brain isn't really. I haven't played any of the newer ones really. I think the last one I played was Fires of Liberation, and. Mm, I love Shamrock. Anyways, but a while back, I actually found this game off of Xbox Game Pass. And I didn't know what it was. And I saw Project Wingman, and I was like, eh, not my cup of tea. And one day I was trolling, and I stopped, and I was like, uh, no, no, I, didn't, I don't want to play. So I finally stopped, and I was like, what the hell is this? And I looked, and I was like, you know, I looked up Project Wingman online because I wanted to see what it was. I wanted to see, and the comments, the, the true spiritual, like one of the comments, the true spiritual successor of Ace Combat. I was like, oh no way! So I started playing it. The people that made this game are geniuses. If you like games like Ace Combat or mo any flight sims like that, play this. It's it it's. Oh, it's a great game. And the campaign is... Oh. So, we're going to play this... Not on normal. And not on easy. No way. We're going to play this on hard. And I'm going to do a second run... On mercenary. I will explain that later. All good things come to those who... And what's dumb is this could this could potentially happen. Because those that don't know the lore, basically they found as it's reading, you, they found a new material, but where they found it was along the Ring of Fire. Now, for those of you that don't know your geography, the Ring of Fire is a Pac Pacific Ocean amalgamation of volcanoes there are a lot of ma of very large volcanoes on this according to if I remember my lore correctly oh hold on our contract with this backwater place is just about to come to an end and well thank God I don't mind a tropical vacation every once in a while. But it's not very glamorous, considering we're here to work. Anyway, one last thing before the defense minister releases our contract, and we move on to bigger and better. Hitman team, you haven't gotten all that much airtime this deployment, so you're taking point with this operation. We have confirmed the location of the Burlock Privateer headquarters off the coast on the southwestern edge of the Jesta Island chain. They're a mercenary group like us, who unfortunately have turned to outright piracy. According to surveillance data, we have determined that they are the culprit of the recent high-profile hijacking of the Federation-registered cargo ship May Lynx. The May Lynx is supposedly carrying volatile cargo belonging to the Federation's Department of Global Energy and Sustainability Office. 
Nothing specific from the Federation contact about the cargo. However, our orders are to retrieve it if possible, or to neutralize it if we can't. Attempts to negotiate for it have turned up with nothing, so we're going in. Hitman team, you are to approach the island from the south along with support and establish control over the area. Your objective is to eliminate any surrounding anti-air and resistance on the island. After that, secure an LZ for our operator group Ronin to ascertain the cargo. Once Ronin lands, maintain air superiority until the next stage of the operation is determined. Be aware that the Burlocks have other Merc pilots on tap, so enemy reinforcements could be a factor. Normally, we'd stay out of contact with any Federation-adjacent taskings. But this is the last thing we need to do for our current contract, so I'll let it slide. Two birds with one stone. Easy enough, right? Now get to work. Dismissed. Uh, I let that play out. But to kind of explain... As you can see, this is the this is the northern United States, the northern United States, North America. And as you can see, um, big old chunk of the West Coast has snapped off. Let's see if I can find a map. Oh yeah, here's all the lore stuff. Basically, oh, I did something on accident. Basically, when the Ring of Fire went off, I think in the lore it also set off. South, Mount St. Helens. And it literally cracked off that section of the United States. I don't even want to think about the devastation in a, of an event like that. That would... You know, all those volcanoes going off, that would have plunged the world into a fucking volcanic winter, which is almost as bad as a, nu a nuclear winter. The only thing that would survive would be plants that could th thrive without sunlight. Uh, nocturnal animals would thrive. Insects possibly could survive as well. But most of anything big would survive by going underground, which I think is part of the lore. But just think about it, all those volcanoes going off at once would be disastrous. But, uh, gonna start the mission, and we're gonna have some fun. Alright, we're not gonna start with the, this thing, okay. Before I started this, I kinda got back into the swing of things with this bad boy in the, in the, uh, Conquest mode. This thing is actually surprisingly nimble. It just has no armaments. <laughs> the only thing it's got is drop pod tanks, which are, they're, they're like small miss, uh, small bombs. They're they're kind of useless if, unless you're on you're on target. But this thing, I literally almost took a good quarter of the map before I got shafted. I was at alert level twelve. It's kind of fun, but I was playing on normal difficulty too. Uh, but instead, I'm gonna go with the TF, uh, the F4. It's pretty. It's powerful. I only have one color scheme though, so let's get this done. I will mute for most of them unless I have comments to make or unless I just feel like talking. This is. Uh, oh, my, our call sign is Monarch. Oh, just look at the this beauty of this. This is the ever-lovely Airborne Warning and Control Systems Aircraft Galaxy. Hitman team, get on the clock. Hitman 3, comic punching in. Hitman 2, copy you clear, Galaxy. You gotta let us loose. Just about, Diplomat. Hitman 1, Take your flight on this vector till you start to see targets on the IFF. You are free to engage. Lead the way, Monarch. Hey, Monarch. How about we watch this mission? I wouldn't mind staying a few more days out here. I have you on record saying that, Prez. Don't be a snitch again, Galaxy. Hit me one, Monarch and Prez. Ready to roll. All counties engaged. Rack them up and knock them down. He ain't gonna save you, boys. Oh, yeah, no checkpoints. 
so I am holding down my afterburner button just to close the distance. You do not want to do this when dogfighting. It will end badly. Like, it will end horribly badly. I think there's a helicopter. Oh, fucking... Momentary freeze. Slow down. Bada bing. Bada boom. Monarch, good luck. Oh! Monarch's been shot down. <laughs> so, no little little fact for you. You want to be really careful when doing cl uh, close air ground air, uh, air assaulting. Otherwise, you do that. Because <laughs> I'm a dumbass. Oh, I am so stupid! Alright, I'm gonna mute now. I've talked enough. Let's, let's get this done and over with, thanks. This is the ever lovely airborne warning and control systems aircraft galaxy. Hitman team, get on the clock. Diplomat. Hitman 1, take your flight on this vector till you start to see targets on the IFF. You are free to engage. Lead the way, Monarch. Hey, Monarch. How about we watch this mission? I wouldn't mind staying a few more days out here. I have you on record saying that, Prez. Don't be a snitch again, Galaxy. Hitman 1, Monarch and Prez, ready to roll? All caught, we're engaged. Rack them up and knock them down. I went a lot better. Took a little bit of Green light to engage. Defenses are clear. Ronin, move in. Copy all. Drop the rope. In and out real quick. Looks like everyone's scattering.
some sort of protean containment chamber. Reading says it's unstable. That bodes well. Copy, Ronan. How much is present? We'll have to keep an airship powered for the uh, core of our sensors. It's not anything we'll carry out of here. Right, uh, one moment. Putting the contact on the line. Now it's going to do the end game. The money came through from this contract, and our opportunities in this region have just about dried up. If no one objects, and your contract with Sicario is still in effect, pack your bags. I looked a little into the Cascadian situation, and I believe we'll make a little something of ourselves there. So the only thing that I have to complain about is that this doesn't do what the old older, uh, what Ace Combat is doing, where it basically shows you how you flew and, yo, know, shows you your pathing. That's my only bitch! But still, the game's amazing. Sorry about the rumbling. Zakario is moving west, ladies and gents. Information coming out of country has been spotty, but, well, let's just say there's a demand for people of our pedigree. The Federation's been eyeing a takeover of Cascadia's resources for years, as far as I remember. And it seems the Cascadians weren't going to take it lying down, based on what info has been leaked out. For those of you who don't know, Cascadia's a nation along North America's western seaboard, one of the largest on Earth, and one of the most prosperous due to its abundant natural resources and geothermal energy deposits. I've never been, but I hear it's beautiful country with limitless energy at its fingertips. I know some of us who were born out here in the periphery can't even imagine it, but I'm sure this hits closer to home for some of you. Moving along. 
There's a communications blackout both in and out of the country. And as far as the international news goes, nothing is going on except a few riots. Based on the mercenary networks, however, that is a complete lie. A full-blown conflict is proceeding. We've reached out and we're given a rendezvous by a Cascadian group called the Independence Force, the main anti-Federation group recognized by the national government. I presume the Federation has the borders on lockdown to stop people like us from coming in. So stay on our toes. If we get found out by a patrol, we'll send one of our flights off to take care of them. Sicario is moving northwest towards a rendezvous point set by Cascadia's Independence Force. We don't expect any heavy resistance given our route of ingress. However, each of our fighter groups will be pulling shifts to preserve fuel and ammo. Hitman team, you will be responsible for the last leg of the journey, which will take us over into Cascadia proper. Be prepared to intercept border patrols. I know some of you might not be too enthused to be fighting the Federation, so I invite you to leave with what you have of your contract. You'd only slow us down. But yeah, as you saw, the entire western seaboard of the you know of the of North America just got cleaved off. Which is actually what people think will happen if St. Mount St. Helena goes up. Because that is a that's a big girl. She goes up. It ain't gonna be pretty. But yeah, after each mission, you get yeah these. Which at the end of the first campaign, I will kind of do a side video where I just kind of flip through them. But for the time being, let's get into Plan B. Oh wait, shit! No, I can't. Uh, I just need to end the video. Mm. I get so excited because the game is just. It's good. <laughs> you want to keep playing. I will, I'm going to keep playing. Like, as soon as I, I finish this recording, I'm going to start up another one. So, if you've enjoyed, feel free to leave a, like, a comment or a like below. If you've got any advice on how I can fly better, by all means, offer me some advice. I ain't exactly a, a pro at this game. I normally don't play flight sim games to be begin with. I mean, I think the closest I get is War Thunder, and most of the time I play uh, ground battles. I only play air battles when I got friends to back me up. If you've also enjoyed the content, feel free to subscribe, and until the next one, I hope to see you all again.